In the year 1997, the future is in chaos and turmoil. Mankind is on the brink of extinction. Brave survivors band together and build a time displacement apparatus to receive a signal from a parallel future. This transmission is the Boondocast. Cast, the official podcast of Vundablog.com, the home of whatever. And because of how successful our um, 80s panel was at Supercon, the home of everything 80s. Wow. The Vundacast. And I am your host, now and always, Steven. And with me today, I have our favorite gamer, Mr. J. How's it going? What is up? The, Are you ready, Player One? The Prodigal Son has returned. You're the first person to mention that movie since <laughs> June. Congratulations. <laughs> Everyone gave up on it. No! From August no. Through September. It was a good movie. Shut up. Congratulations. Lies. No one talks about that movie. No one cares about Ready Player One. I watched it on No one cares about Halliday. It's amazing. Have any of those actors? I am Halliday. Did, did Cyclops' career get made after that? Yeah, he's doing Phoenix. He's doing an X-Men, X-Men 3 Phoenix. film that got pushed back. X-Men 4. That was supposed to come out, like, this summer, actually. Yeah, but they had to do reshoots, so... No, they had to wait till Disney was ready to let them do what they're allowed to do now. Because Disney's their new boss. But that's not what this episode's about. Oh, my God. It's not about Disney's Off ownership. Off topic. This is about before Disney took over. Derailed. This is about before the apocalypse happened. Yes. This is about when Mr. J got the Atari Flashback 8 classic ga- game... Game... Is it pronounced game or game? Game. Game console. Yes. Um, so this is a, a new device? I, I, I remember, I think my, somebody had given an Atari to my sister. I can't, I remember playing on it, but I don't, I can't remember what the hell I played on it. And I, I remember playing the E.T. game as a kid, mm-hmm. so I must have like, Played it on the Atari so, because I don't think it, they had it on NES. So the only game you ever played is the worst game in the history of Atari, was the game that you had and wanted because it was the most popular, the most. Why well, I didn't buy it. The 80s. I didn't buy it. I rented. But I can see the. I remember <laughs> the landfill gets fuller <laughs> of ET games. But I just I don't remember how the hell I did I rent it or did they give it to us with the game? I can't. I, because this was like when I was like super like little. Like I must have been three or something. Because it's already so old. Is it possible that, you know, it was just somebody visiting and they part with him? You know, some weird no, because relative. my sister told me that um, a friend of the family gave it to her. Okay, this is like a mystery. This is like a... Yeah. And then I don't know what happened mystery. to it. I don't know if my mom threw it away or it like... Disappeared. It just disappeared too. It was probably because... Maybe they just lent it to us and then they took it back. Probably that the game was so bad, it's so horrible. It, it, it's, it's it's actually like caused like significant like mental damage to you personally, and you've blocked out all memories associated with it. Like it's like your rosebud, but if you ever play the game again, you might turn into a serial killer or something. I just because it's gonna like unlock the dark part of Mr. J. I just didn't understand the game when I was a kid because. You- <laughs> You keep you keep falling into holes. No one did. No one did. Have you seen the? There's a documentary I watched on Netflix that is about Atari and yeah, about uh, them unearthing yeah. the games after the fact, yeah. and they're talking about how the guy who made this game, everyone was like, this guy is like the genius. To he's like the best person to make this game. Yeah. And then they give him such little time to make the it's game. It's only like five weeks. That he, there's nothing he can do. You know what I mean? All he can do is make a shitty game. No, no. I mean, the thing was that he just didn't have enough time for testing. No, and there was limitations, too, you know? 
he was told like they could only hold flashlights. Like you know, he didn't have you know all the storytelling tools. They had an ET to tell the story of ET. No, like I think I think if he, they had more time to do testing, they could have fixed that game. Because one of the problems is like the kind of like what do they he call it? That's that. The object detection or the hit yeah, detection. Yeah, it's stuck on things. Um, is that it's like ET doesn't even have to be walking over the holes. He just has to be like slightly near the hole, or he the ground could be here and the hole could be here, and he's walking on the ground, but because it's like his head might be touching the hole, he'll fall into the hole anyways. Why does this sound like it's confirmed ET's a virgin? <laughs> Mr. J, he, he can't find a hole. hole. He, he can't find, find it. No, he keeps falling into holes. Oh, so if he, anything, he's a pimp. He's he's a gigolo. Yeah, he's a gigolo. In the 80s, we were all falling down holes. And metaphor. then, if you're able to avoid the holes, you're constantly getting chased by scientists or FBI guys. Maybe we just didn't realize it was a crossover game with Shia LaBeouf's later film, Holes. Yeah. And so Shia LaBeouf's actually down there digging those holes. And but ET's today, like, let's play a game. we're not we're talking, talking about E.T. Today, we're going to play um, some of the greatest games that I want to get your opinion on. Do you like adventure games? RPG games? Well, let's play a game we can play versus, no? Okay. Right? Because there's two of us. Um, basketball, Canyon Bomber. Basketball, what? Bowling. Oh my god. Sounds horrible. I'm sure basketball is going to be great. amazing. Watch this. Watch out. I'm, I'm, I'm the heat. <laughs> Remember when they used to have. Oh, um, is that me? Is that you? Oh, that's it's me. me. Okay, we have to press start. This is. No. We have to press start. Okay. What? On the machine? No, you're there, right? Aren't you the... You're the... Um, I'm the blue guy? You mean purple. You're the purple, purple guy. Yeah. Ah! You oh. stole my wall! Son of a oh fish. Oh my god. Son of a fish, yes. Oh! Ah! Oh my god, no! <laughs> no! Oh. And ah, Mr. Scored J, 2-0. Two two so there's only four minute quarters? What the hell? <laughs> the, you only get four minutes, that's it. Oh that's my god, he's game. already up at 4-0. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot do anything. I just keep stealing he the ball. He is the Dwayne Wade of Atari 2600 basketball. Remember back in the 70s when we used to have square balls? Oh, so fast. doesn't count because it's only me. Oh, my God. I got oh, a, you got a point. I got a point. I got a point. 325. Oh, my God. 8-2. No. He's the Will Chamberlain. <laughs> no. 10-2. What an I, I have played. I have played a little bit of basketball. I see this. In my life. <laughs> I see this. I just imagine you at home now just schooling your niece. Like, <laughs> Come on, play me again. Don't you want this? 14 2. Mr. J's unstoppable. Oh, he finally shot a brick. Oh, defense, no. I just tipped it in, I think. I like the way that the ball goes underneath the net and then goes on top of it. It's just, I cannot, I cannot penetrate. Oh, oh, no, you really still didn't did. make it? Oh, man. See, he's giving it to me because it's 20 to 2. It's the inverse. Oh shit, I missed it. So the so the nets, the baskets are blue? Is that what that's blue? Yeah, those and are the, the and the basketball is blue. It's square. But it's and a square. square. And square. You don't remember in the seventies we used to have what? square basketballs? Did we have blue basketballs as well in the Yes. 70s have These basketball? are regulation basketballs. Eight bit basketballs. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, 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 oh you scored! Six to twenty-six. Six to twenty-six! <laughs> Mr. J is here, Spolstra. If oh. you wanna add a six man to your Atari 2600 Heat <laughs> squad. Affiliated squad. Oh, 8 to 28. He's they, just letting me have a 20 point. They, this game is so old that the Heat didn't even exist. Oh my god. I, I don't even know that were the NBA and the ABA, were they even like merged at this point in 1976? This um, is this like, is actually one of the hold first. On, so Atari came out in 76? 76, 77, 76, something like that, yeah. Something like that. So, and this is one of the actually one of the uh, the launch games. One of the launch games of Atari. So when you bought it at Sears, this was the game they gave you. Can I shoot a three? Oh, oh I did they still give you two points though. That sucks. <laughs> Try as you might. We didn't put lines in the game, so nope. F you. Well, third forty to twelve, a minute thirty left. I see why it's only a four minute <laughs> four minute. Otherwise round. I'm gonna score like a hundred points. Because if not, I probably wanna die. <laughs> Okay. Basketball. Is that enough basketball? basketball? basketball. Yeah, how do you get out now? If you okay. Can go back. It's the press buttons on the machine. Yeah, you have the press buttons on the machine. <laughs> so old school. I love it. Yeah, um, wait. I think we have to power off. Yeah. 
This is super this like. This is advanced technology. This is advanced. It. Yeah. Love it. I love it. Okay. Aquaman what do you think shirt. about what is that? What do you think about basketball? basketball? Okay, if we're gonna rate this on if this is an Atari flashbacky, all right, we have to rate it on a scale of eight. No, you scale right. it on a scale of four joysticks. No, on an eight. Or this is Atari twenty six hundred. This is twenty six hundred. So it has to be on a scale of twenty six hundred. <laughs> it's too much. I would say this game. <laughs> The basketball game for me, because I only enjoyed it for the first two minutes of my <laughs> four and a half minute quarter. Yeah. I think I only give it a two? 1,200 out of a possible. That's too many numbers. 2,600. Just out of five. So it's half. So it's like Just half. two out of five. <sighs> Why can you handle my ridiculous math? No, that's too much, too many numbers. Five. No, five's one. Okay, there's 11 pages of games. Yes. Out of 11. Out of 11? Okay, how many? Okay, I give this. Out of 11. Five pages out of 11 pages. Little possible pages. Okay, so it's. Because I only enjoyed it half good. the time I was supposed to enjoy it. <laughs> and I never want to play it again. So. <laughs> that's the other thing about these old school games is that, like. You want to play it once? Some of them are so monotonous that you're just like, if I had nothing else to do in 1978, yeah, sure, I'll play this all day. <laughs> but right now I can go check out the DC Universe app. I'm, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'll get one, 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 one token's good enough for right now. Okay. This is Night Driver. Whoa, that sounds sexy. Oh yeah, Night Driver. Oh man, there's so many classic games here. So we oh, we drivers. gotta. Well, how are we gonna play Twin Six Hundred? Not play Pong. Oh snap! He's but going back straight to the classic. But okay, so like on the console version, it was called Video Olympics because you could play. It wasn't just Pong. Like you could play like foosball, hockey, track and field. Not track and field. <laughs> Wait, those are. No, anything that looks like Pong. <laughs> anything that can be registered in you'll squares. See, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see what I'm talking about. Oh, snap. Okay. The greatest game. Um, can you move down? Played. Okay, wait. See, no, this is the thing is that there's different games, so you have to select. Uh, move your stick. One of these is multiplayer. That's the multiplayer option. Let's move your stick. Let's see. Okay, perfect. What is the game? Move your stick, bro. Yeah, yeah, mine, mine is working, mine is working. Okay. There you go. Oh, 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 ah, you got, oh, oh Steven is killing me in this First game. First blood. First blood. First pong blood. Oh, no. Ah. One, <laughs> one. You gotta press the start button. How quickly I've fallen. There you go. Oh, it's just the, the, the joystick goes so fast. I'm not used to these responses. Well, because there's, so, um, for pong, they used to have these dials that you went. You turned. Yeah. And uh, if you get like the super expensive version for like eighty something bucks, it brings like those little dials. But this is the cheap one. Having it, yeah. No, no, we're flashback eight. Oh, I have to do it. So yeah. Whoever lost is the one who. Yeah, initiates. whoever lost has to initiate. Oh, that's, that's good. That, that keeps the peace in the household, I guess. There you go. See, my first part was just a total cag. Ah, oh, <laughs> four <laughs> one. There you go. Oh no! Oh my god! He was born to the punk. <laughs> Five one. <laughs> Shit. There you go. Oh my god. The speed. I feel like this is like. It's too fast. This is not well. No, it's not too fast. It's just I feel pressure. Ow. Oh, two five. Two five. I feel pressure because I just saw Serena Williams like freak out this week. <laughs> I don't want. I, just I, don't throw your paddle. I don't want to lose it and break your Atari controller. Yeah. Ah. Two eight. Oh, Mr. J is unrivaled. His pong acumen. I don't even have to do anything. He just waits for me to die. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh snap. Look, look, look. Oh snap. <laughs> we did it. We beat pong. And then we <laughs> broke the game. We beat pong. No. No. Commit ah. to this. No. He shifted. <laughs> we were in a perfect stalemate, one to one, straight back and forth. We could have played for the rest of our lives. Oh my god. Now we're back. Look. To see, we could play like this. <laughs> Imagine if we just left this on. For the rest of our lives, we can say that we've been locked in a pong battle and forever. What's up? Eighty years. Oh. It's almost worth it to do it, just to have the story. To be like, what's that? Don't touch those controllers. Oh. We're in the middle of something. Three nine. So at ten, is this gonna gonna explode? Um, I we... think it's more than ten. Will it just go on forever? No, no, it doesn't go on forever. 
Oh, oh four nine. I was trying to do a trick shot there. Mr. J whiffed it. He wanted to put in a finish him blow on me. Finish him. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Alright, I'm going to start playing Reckless. Because i got to go for a Hail Mary if I want to win. I can't be giving him this, this weak pawn game. i got to turn up. i got to use my instincts. I just wish that I could go off into nothing. I wish it would stop. Me oh hard. my god. Five, Five to ten. ten. Steve's making a comeback. I think he gave that to me. I don't know. Shit. He was, I, think, I think he's trying to oh. throw He's trying to throw the game. Ah. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. How did I miss that? Give me your strength. Oh, shit. I was trying to hit a trick shot. There. I feel like you're giving up. No, no, no. The way that he's losing these oh. matches. Oh. Got it. Oh! <laughs> What's going on, man? It's Pong's hard. Pong's hard. <laughs> Pong's Just hard. keep your stick right there, bro. When it's coming to you, it's hard. I'm trying to do a trick shot. I'm trying to knock it up. So that you, see? I'm trying to do that shit. That magic Bam. shit. See, I'm trying to do what you exactly just did that I couldn't do. Yeah, but that's why I lost so many times. I was 7 to, to 15. Oh, God. 7 to 16. Do you like how it keeps getting more high pitched every time you lose? Yeah, like it's getting more stressful. Beep! Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. I bet you this is what like brain surgeons play before they, before they do surgery. operate on someone's skull. But like, let me get in some <laughs> some hardcore brain work, some pong here. We can play uh, just the greatest physicist in the world. Oh my god. Jeez. I wish there was a movie where, like, over the top. <laughs> it was just playing Pong? <laughs> it was just truckers going and playing Pong with each other? Like, come on, brother, $5,000 on this game! <laughs> We're not playing until one of us hits 5,000 points. Let's oh move. my god. Sway. Oh my god. Uh, oh, watch out. Oh, oh. Trick shot. So I guess this is a good way to introduce. Oh, that's it. To twenty one. To twenty one. That's the ten to twenty one. That's the age of pong. So what do you think about pong? Pure legal. Pong is the classic, and look, it's going through different color schemes here, giving you dreams of what pong could look like. Yes. In other universes. And see, I want to show you, like, see, there's like different modes where you could play with two paddles. What? You could play with. Like, like if it was kind of like soccer or something, Whoa, you see? Oh, oh my god, this is the best game in the world. Look how many different modes you have. But this, 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 Look at all the stuff. This could not have been on the first. The first edition of Pong had all this capability? Yes. Wow. Not, well, the first edition of Pong was the one in on the arcades that was like black and white. Yeah, yeah. All it did was just like Pong back and forth. But the home this console is, had The all home this. console had all of this. Wow. I gotta say. Impressed? I'm impressed. I gotta say this is... Full 11 pages out of 11 possible pages. Look at this foosball table. What was, what was your rating on the last game? You didn't read it. Oh, I wanted Steven's ratings, but... Um... <laughs> you don't care about my ratings. <laughs> your ratings matter. You don't care about my ratings. What are you talking about? You care about Steven's ratings. What? Um, basketballs are great. It's a classic. I'm not going to rate it out of 11. That's ridiculous. It's a 4 out of 5. Well, he went lower than me. Oh, shit. I went How's that? basketball. No, but you went 5 out of 11. I went 4 out of 5. Mine is worth more than yours. Oh, so you're 9 out of 11. If you do math, okay, fuck which Steven doesn't know how to do, okay. 4 so out, of out of 5 is worth more than 5 out of 11. Pong. Look, they have hockey. Alright, let's play hockey. 23. Let's go. Want to change the color? Look, they have hockey with like three guys. Four guys. Okay, go to the play. I want to play hockey. It's not more fun. We should have opened with Look at these this. cooler versions of Pong. Cooler versions of Pong. Yeah, look at this one. This is like vert, like. What? No. Oh this my God! Look at this. You can move side to side and this then is, up and down. This is for when hippies do do acid. <laughs> this is not normal. This is like vertical and horizontal pong. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand this. No, this cannot. And look, they're not. It's not even moving how I would expect it to at all. Yeah. This is crazy juice. Okay, so the up and down moves this one, and then the side to side moves this one. Wouldn't you program it so that I this know. one moves side to side and that I one moves know. up and down? I agree wholeheartedly. Apparently, this is the one that we're playing. In the 70s, we thought something different. Oh, oh my god! No. 
Where am I? Who am he I? He did it. He chose Satan's palm. <laughs> did you have both those sides? Oh like, my god, I don't even out. know. I can't figure I out, can't which figure one out what this is. <laughs> I can't figure out the controls either. I can't figure out. Okay, I think I'm definitely that yellow one up there. I don't know where my other one is, but I'm that one up there. Are we switching? No, I'm purple. I'm purple. Purple? Oh, I scored. This is a really hard game for someone who's colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. You can't see the colors? Well, I can't differentiate the purples from the blues. Oh, but there's no blues. This is purple. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's purple, green, and yellow. Well, what's this? That's purple. So that's you too? Yeah. So where's my other guy? You gotta... Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, look, there look, he is. Look. He came back. Look, so look. He came back. The up and down guy, you have to move the stick. I know. We explained this. this yeah, is, horizontal. This is horrible. Okay. This is terrible, yeah. Okay, this, okay, you just lost Pong. 10 out of 11. <laughs> Boom. No. Yeah, half these features are just bullshit. <laughs> that wasn't well thought out. Okay. No, but, I mean, they have other stuff, like, you know. The hockey won't look pretty good. No, fuck this. Let's blow some shit up, man. Let's get physical. Okay. Let's get real. Let's get into Let's real. Let's blow some stuff up. Issues. Yes. Geo global politics. Aqua Venture? Is that? You should shit? Asteroids, that's a good one. No, nah, these are all classics. No, I want something more obscure. Something more obscure? Something. What is Chal? Challenge? Is that what supposed to be? So, the guy who did. Um, <clears throat> uh, Waterworld? Oh my god, they had the game <laughs> for the Kevin Costner room 30, 25 years before it came out? Oh my god, look, there so he is. So, it was called Sword Quest. Uh -huh. There's an amazing story behind it where Atari. This is when they had a ton of money. They were making these games called Sword Quest, and you would win prizes in real life. Whoa. Like the first person that would beat the game, you know? Uh -huh. Um. No, no, this is terrible. Come on! No, no, no. Well, we gotta play... Classic Yard's Revenge. Okay, I've heard of Yard's Revenge. Have you heard of Yard's Revenge? Of course. This, this is, is a very popular game. Let's go. So this is Howard Scott Warshaw, the guy who created E.T. This is a masterpiece. This is what made him uh, a superstar at Atari. This is a masterpiece. This is one player, though, so here. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Look at one. That's me now. Yeah. So you gotta be careful with that guy, that that guy doesn't hit you. Um, I can't touch you're that. safe in here. Oh, and be careful when he throws those ninja stars at you. You're safe in there. If it touches you, like you're fine there. Oh no! Okay. See, you gotta be I'm, careful. I'm understanding a little And then you gotta shoot into that guy over there. I can't shoot from there. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Oh! Damn, that thing goes fast. Yeah, that this thing. This is an intense game. I can see it why is. Gave it to him. This is like the one game that has like menace to it. So back here I'm safe too? Um, no, you're only safe inside this zone, but you gotta get over here. What the heck? How do they even okay, die? Okay, let me show you, let me show you. How do they even you. die there? Because they, they shot that ninja star thing at you. I forgot what that official thing was. I didn't even see it even move is. fast enough. Look. Whoa, oh my god. Whoa, Mr. J's practicing his revenge. Damn, he's a Sith Lord, he is. Whoa. Oh god. I believe this is where they got the name, the last name for Tasha Yar from Star Trek The Next Generation. It's from, from this film. So these are like alien, you're an alien and these are bad aliens? Yeah, and when you get like close enough, you see that thing, that line on the left side? Mm -hmm. Whoa! You want it, because you want to shoot at this thing. Oh no, he's charging up his ninja star. And this was actually one of the first um, games that had like a comic book to like explain the backstory of the game. Just the music to it, like how oh, it's moody and dark. And ah! I'm trying to freaking shoot this thing. Sir J's gonna win Yard's Revenge. Whoa. Whoa. Well, this episode Mr. J's Revenge now. Okay. Whoa. Shoot this motherfucker, oh man. My oh my god, I missed! How did I miss? Oh my god. Whoa. Kill it. It yes, it. we oh, did it! Oh my god, he did it. We did it. So then you go to the next level. And you gotta do it again. That's kinda difficult, right? Yeah, that was kinda difficult. So that goes on for another hundred levels? 
Probably, yeah. Wow. But if you're Our able... Our score currently 82-20. Look what at this one. What the heck? It won't even break right. Uh, you just gotta shoot it till it becomes all black. Yeah, so you could, you could get it in there. That's messed up. Oh my god. It's, it's advancing its shield. Steven, we died. It's advancing all its shield technology. Yeah. This is an amazing game. Whoa! Let me try this in mega. Try it. Back to the first. Back to the first level. Okay. One more try. Ah. <laughs> you went right to it. Yeah. No. So that. What this is, it, it would be selecting like different types of games when you hit select button. So I go to so what, how many yard games? What you want to do is press start. I think you what you did was you put it like on an easier level where you see how now your shots take up Good. more of the stuff. Good. That makes sense. Mr. J had to set on on adult. On adult. I'm clearly a child. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding, man. So you gotta get like close. Okay, let's go play other stuff. Two player games. Okay. So what does Steven think about Yars Revenge? Yars Revenge, I'm gonna give it ten. Ten out of eleven? No, I'm gonna go perfect. Eleven. Ten out of eleven. Well, oh my god. Okay. You wanna play the game that Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak program? Oh snap! Is it Breakout? Breakout. It's a prison game. Yeah. Totally. It's about prison? Oh, it's Brick Breaker. Yeah. It's Brick Breaker out. So it's Pong. No, it's, um, it's brick breaking Vertical Pong. <laughs> yeah, I used to play this on my Windows computer. Steve Jobs. <laughs> Suck it! <laughs> <laughs> you got jacked? Well, obviously he, didn't, he couldn't keep the rights to it, Atari. Owned all of their. This, this game seems kind of a little uh, LGBTQ phobic here because they're like you're attacking a big pride flag. Above you. You're attacking a big pride flag. <laughs> this is my stuff. Nah, you don't like rainbows, any? We all like rainbows. Well, this is a great way. He's breaking bricks. You want to try? He's taking names. Eh. You no. kind of already played this. I've done it. Let's yeah. go. Next. Okay. Next game. I'm gonna give that ten. I got a perfect two-player game. Perfect. Is, that, is that a five-game for you? What? Five out of five? Um, first it's not game. as fun as Pong, because Pong you can play with two players. It's the first world. Um, I'd say like three, maybe three out of five. Three out of five. We're going to play some Frogs and Flies. Frogs. Oh, I, I have played this, because in the 2000s, so I'm, I'm the my, gray frog. one of my brothers went and bought an Atari system, an old-school one. One of the games that he got it with. Okay. Uh, Where the so you gotta you gotta jump and try to oh, catch some flies. One. Steven is killing me at this game. It's all about patience, my friend. You gotta, you gotta got know him. when to jump him. No when to clump him. Damn. No when to lick him. It's four to two. It's four to four. Four to four. No. Over to revenge. Ah, uh, my. Oh. <laughs> We'll be no, six four. We just went for the same fly, and we oh he just got a ten, two for ten four. He just went double kill on flies over here. What the f ten four? He oh. just went out of nowhere. Kobe of, of frogs and flies over here. So <laughs> what I wonder is did frogs come first or did frogs and flies come first? Who's That's a good question. Who's thunder here? No, but this six, but ten. the games are totally different because this one obviously, but you know. Frogger, you're trying to avoid you traffic. You want to be the only frog the, the game. The only frog game? Yeah. Or else they're like, There's enough which frog game? game? Oh, that, oh no, that, not that frog game. There's enough to go around. Oh, 12. Oh, 14. Then came. Are frogs the most popular animal in game? Steven, you keep jumping into the pond. 16, 6. I like to get what? Oh. oh amphibian. 20. 26. Oh my god, even my training day reference uh -huh. could not save me. <laughs> What was your training day reference? Steven, stop I, popping I in like the pond. I like to get wet. Oh, okay. That's what, that's what uh, this guy says after he does, uh, he smokes PCP. <laughs> I didn't know you'd like to get wet. <laughs> <laughs> no. Training stop jumping in the pond. Eight. Is it turning into night? Is that what's happening here? Yeah. It's transforming into night. It's only to go to bed. Look at these graphics. It's amazing. It's getting progressively darker. Oh my god. Can handle it. Sometimes the big jumps are the hardest jumps to hit. 
He was like, oh my god, 28. Mr. J, once again, with another 20-point lead on me. So, um... He's the 20-point lead kid. The story behind this is, like... Um, I think the Magnavox Odyssey 2 had come out. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me the story behind this is that we're, like, frog brothers. No. <laughs> we're Cain and Abel. No, like, the... The Magnavox Odyssey 2, I think, had come out. I think. <laughs> and, um... <clears throat> But it wasn't as big of a selling, um, I don't know, was it, the, oh, or was it the television? It was the television, perhaps. It might have been the television, yeah. Because cause I think or, these games originally came out on the television, but because the television, it didn't sell as well as the Atari, they repackaged these games for Atari with lesser graphics. Lesser like, graphics? Yeah. The, so the television was more... Graphical. Was more powerful than the Atari? And the ColecoVision. Which is probably why it was less successful, because it was more expensive, isn't it? It's possible. It's possible. Um, the third generation of consoles didn't sell as well, like, um, so, because, whoa, that's 50 it. 50 to 10. 50? How did I get to 50? You're, you're a champion. <laughs> the end. The, the end. definitive end of the story of Frogs and Flies. Yes. It was just played. 50 to 10. Whoa. Mr. J. What'd you give this? That's probably the best game on here. Really? And my brother was right. Frogs and Flies. It's dope. Masterpiece. 12 out of 11 pages. 12 out of 11 pages. Oh my god. Yes. Frogs and Flies is a 5 out of 5. Oh, shit. Wait, I want to pick a game here. You pick a game. Pick a game. I know these games are going to suck, but they have cool names. I'm attracted to them. Okay. I'm trying to pick two player games. Okay. Let's, let's do combat. What's a cool game? It's Crystal Castles. It's um, it's a little bear. Oh my god! Collecting stuff, collecting little red balls. He's adorable. Desert Falcon. What's that? Try it. That sounds amazing. Dodge him. Nah. Seems like a two-player mm -hmm. game, right? See, I went straight for dodge him. Oh snap! I mean, it's not as cool as it sounds, but let's oh my god. let's see. Um, can can you? Does your thing move? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's try. it. Can you, does your thing, does it do anything? Oh, I did it. No, Steven, we can't crash. I did it. No! Is that you? I don't know. Oh, oh my god. I don't know what games are. Dodge sucks. This yeah. Game stupid. But how would we even win? See, Steve this is show? why I picked the game. It's because Steven picks bad games. Dodge him! One out of 11 pages. God damn it. I should have dodged it. I couldn't even take the, the message. Yeah. Um, that wasn't Adventure as great. Adventure 2? That's, that's a fake game. Well, that's a fake game? Yeah. It's not real? There's some fake games in here, Steven. Oh, what? This is like a fan-made game that they put in here. They Adventure's what you want to play. Did they steal a fan's game? This is the original RPG adventure game. You want to try it? Let's do it. Right. The original RPG. Oh shit, I've heard about this. Yes. They, they, this was they, at they the ending. Ready Player One? This is the ending of Ready Player One. Yes. Okay, so let's press start. Okay, so you gotta get that key. Grab that key. And then you gotta open the black gate. Now you gotta get, get the sword. So you beat this game already? Yeah, so. Well, I didn't beat the game, but I beat the first level. No, 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 you gotta get the sword. Go back can in. I, can I just fight with the key? I can't fight with the key. I saw this game once. It was called Kingdom Hearts. They fought with keys. No. Okay, go to the left. Oh, oh, you 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 wanna? Okay, you. Are you gonna take me to Ready Player One into the game? To meet how? I don't know. I don't know how to. No, you gotta go in the hole. It's kind of like a maze, so you gotta like figure your way out of the maze. Whoa. This is amazing. Whoa, pun intended. I can see why people like this game. All the other games aren't as interesting as this. <laughs> <laughs> Steven. No, this is amazing for 1976. I know, I know. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm saying this it's is one of the original. Okay, so if you see with that portal, you can go through walls. That's go, go up there, go up there, go up there. Oh, if I can move it. No, 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 but, but get the. Get the Take anyone anywhere. Yeah, but get the sword because. Oh my god, unlimited power. power. Yes. 
Uh, oh, no, you have to find the black key. Sorry. Go down. I have to find the black key that's in this area for this. That yeah, so like you gotta go back key. down. That looks really ominous, right? Think so? It's just a castle. That's a cool t-shirt. Well, okay. take a picture of it. Go down? Uh, you have to go that way. Go that way? Spoilers, yeah, I mean, otherwise we'll be here all day. How am I gonna kill a man? Shit. It wasn't... Okay, that wasn't it. But how, how could that take me all the way back up there? That's crazy. It doesn't even make sense. Um, go through here. Or yeah, or, or grab this. Grab this thing. And then... Yeah, put it there. Put it here. And then press the button. No, no, no. So you press the button. So you let it go. And then you can walk through... And then you can walk through fucking walls. And then get the sword. Oh yeah, and you can get the sword. Oh no, I left it on the other side of the wall. Oh, oh no. Alright, adventure's over. No, look, the adventure oh, is only beginning. The wizard says... The adventure only begins, look. <laughs> He's getting so deep in this maze. It's all covered in blue. It's so we deep. Are a square in this maze. But we are not squares. Moving around. This is a perfect place <laughs> to say, if you enjoyed this episode, please tweet us at Vundablog or at Oh my god. Cast. Got stuck. Uh, you can email us Vundablog at gmail.com. Um, if you put Mr. J in the topic of your email, oh boy. I will fax it to Mr. J via fax machine. Via fax machine? <laughs> via technology of the 1980s? Oh, okay, so you just went around like 80 million kajillion feet instead of using your magic portal to get what you needed. Congratulations. Okay. Next <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. What do you give Avenger? <laughs> Adventure? Uh, we didn't even get to fight the dragon, Steven. Nine out of eleven. Okay. It's inventive, but it's obviously, you know, it's a time heavy game. Bowling? If you want to get new things into it. Bowling. What's, what's on the end here? What's in the eleven? Back end. Oh, judge yeah, hunt? Did you say judge hunt? Is this that's the thing about hunting judges? We'll go back There's also super breakout. Super video checkers. Space, Space Invaders, nice. Staple Chase? What? Fighting a church? Well, Space Invaders. That's a great one. Is that what you want to close on, Space Invaders? Uh, God, we need a really good one. Saboteur, that looks also like a fan game. <laughs> actually, this was an unfinished game. Oh. But, um, it wasn't actually unfinished. The code was all there, but it was just unreleased until recently. Pitfall. Some great games here. Pressure cooker. Let's go one more game. One more game. Let's do it. Oh, it's Jungle Hunt. Not Jungle, jungle Hunt. Hunt. Haunted House? That sounds scary. Um, Earth World. Flag Capture. Combat 2. Gotta do Combat. It's one of the original titles. So this machine was programmed. Originally, it was only supposed to play two games. Pong and Combat. But then they realized they could just keep making games for it. That's why the, the graphical limitations of it are so, like, you know. Um, can you move your guy? Uh, well, let's try. Let's try. Let's see. Does your thing move? No. Keep going? Yeah, look. Your guy moves. Ah! I'm being shot at. Ah! You're going to die. So we're, like, basically like tanks. Yeah. And there's different modes that you can play. This is, like, one of them. Whoa, why are my shots curving? Look at this. You have like you have like a wall around you. Damn it. I use the force, the force is my ally. I can't go straight. Oh, I have to go I have to I can't think like a modern console. No. If I wanna go down, I have to press up. Because <laughs> I have to go straight. That's why I'm like sucking. Two, one, Mr. J. Let's try a different mode. Whoa, now there's some defenses. Whoa, defenses. I like it. The game just changed. Got interesting. It just evolved. So, when this game came out, right? Yeah. James Cameron was like, damn, I hope machines don't take over the world. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't even figure out. How to get through there? How to get around the board properly. <laughs> the controls are a little weird. I don't know why they made it so difficult to control. Oh my god. <laughs> I just shot you into the next screen. This is so <laughs> unintuitive. 
I wonder if I can shoot you from this side and it'll come out of the other side. I think the problem is too, there's no reverse. That's what I'm realizing now. You have to turn your whole tank there's around. There's no reverse, there's only four. This does not operate how regular tanks, tanks operate. Work. These are 8 bit tanks. <laughs> tanks oh, I shot you. Uh, two, zero. No, 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 wait, what are you doing? Wait, 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 wait. we gotta try it. Combat 2. Combat 2, that's the one. That's the one you want to try. They solved all the problems. Combat solved all the problems. And Combat 2 is going to show where the future of memes is. They say that the people who played... Because uh, this one actually has a map. Check it out. This one has a map. Oh, my God. This is crazy. You look like a ghost tank. Is like that up there? No. Oh, man. You look like a ghost tank. Where's the verses? I'm not... Oh, there I am. Yeah. I'm here. You're there. That's me. You have oh, to no, cross this little bridge. Turn around. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not. Is it me? That's you, right? No. It's not? Look. Damn it. I that's you. Stupid controller. <laughs> this controller's the worst. Get the back here. it goes by itself. Oh, yeah. That's true. See? That's why I thought it wasn't me. Because it'll just stay going if you don't like stop on purpose. Die. War will kill us all. Don't you understand? Oh, this time it takes more than one shot. You go slower. This time it takes more than one shot to die. I got a first tank or screw. First tank. No. No. Ah, no. Die. How come you didn't take any damage? I did take damage. You saw my tank got dark. You, it takes three hits now to kill. In combat too. Triple shot. Only triple shots count, guys. Die! I feel like we're in Vietnam. <laughs> For sure. You're hiding in the trees. <laughs> Back in down, I could drive a big tank. Give me five million dollar tank. Take three hits to blow up and die. That's a great Rambo well, reference. Combat what do you think about Combat 1 and 2? Combat 1 and 2. Which one was better? This was the franchise. This is the franchise this to the beat franchise. all franchises. I'm going to have to give it two combats out of two possible combats. It was perfect. So it was perfect. <laughs> it was the perfect game. Which one? Combat 1 or Combat 2? Combat 2 was perfect. Combat Whoa. 1 receives half points. Whoa. So what does Steven think about the Atari flashback? It's a pretty fun console. Pretty fun. For like one day. But see, I got it for like 20 bucks on You're clearance, right. so... So it's like a movie ticket so into being a child in the 80s. Yes. So if you're in the 80s, this would cost like a million dollars. Actually, I think it was like, I think it was $200. But yeah, if you look at inflation, it would probably be like, you know, 600 or 700 in today's money. But yeah, it was $200 back then. Whoa. This is amazing. This is amazing. Good job, Mr. Jay. Whoa. This seems like the perfect, perfect episode to play before our 80s panel from Florida Supercon. Yes. Which will be the next episode on this feed. So the Atari Flashback 8 gets 8 out of 8 possible 8s. Yes. 8. 888? Eight, eight, eight. Yes. This is the Crazy 8s. Crazy 88 Crazy podcast. A, Mr. J is our 80s wonderkind. 80s expert, he's the real genius, not Val Kilmer. It's Mr. Jim. Yes. You missed our 80s panel because of unfortunate circumstances. Unfortunate circumstances. But it was our most popular panel. And people loved it. People raved about it. People have been waiting for the episode. You could just shoot me and insert me into the video. No, we don't have this type of... Uh, we have that technology, Steven. We do have that technology. Maybe one day we'll do a special edition Oh man. 80s panel. Okay. Can we get Jedi Rocks in there? Yeah, we'll have some, With some, some do backs in the What's background. What's his name? Sly Snoogles or something? Sly Snoogles? Um, Nobody knows his name. Those do backs in the background? Do I was backs. actually thinking about. Well, I, was actually, I, was, I was on a Star Wars group and someone was posing this thought, and I thought, that's interesting. So, in the special edition Star Wars films, Totally going off 80s brand here. Okay, I think this is a separate podcast. No, 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 no. Let's just save this. No, no, just a quick... Because we need a derail somewhere. Okay, derail. This is the derail. Okay. All right. In Tantooine, 
in the background they inserted stormtroopers riding yeah. dewbacks. Yeah. Right? The Empire has all this money. They has do. all this technology. They do. They can blow up an entire planet. Yes. What is the dewback doing? <laughs> Walking at two miles an hour? With one guy on his back searching a giant desert? Well, you can't take How a, effective? You can't take an at at because the sand will get into it. So the sand's too powerful that only natural beasts can handle it? That's why Anakin never we went have back to Tatooine. All the Imperial technology, but the Emperor or That's Anakin why Darth Vader. were like, I don't fund any sand, <laughs> sand based research and development. Yes. Because no. It's too coarse. But, and it gets everywhere. But we could have. <laughs> <laughs> but the battle droids operated great in the sand, on Genosha, right? Is that that was that, sand? No, that was a different type of sand. Though. That was different sand. It's different sand. Not all sand's the same. That's kind of like baseball sand. It was it's like just, it was termite sand. It was softer. It's like baseball. You know that orange sand they use for baseball fields. Baseball clay. Yeah, the baseball diamonds. clay. The diamond. That makes sense to me. That makes sense. So. Atari is the space age, and that's how we tie it all back to Star Wars. How do you, you, I think you should close the video game podcast. And you should close it. Signature gaming line by Mr. J. I have been your host, Steven. Now you could say. <laughs> you put me on the hot spot. Exactly. Now you could say something like, well, we're just, you know, we're giving them a view behind the scenes. Okay. In front of the scenes. <laughs> you could say like. I'm Mr. J, and that's game over. But that's too cliche. Whoa, that's, that's perfect. Isn't that so cliche? That's perfect. No. no. I'm Mr. J, and this is game over. Hey, Wunder. Hey, Wunder. Hey, Wunder. Cast. Give yeah. it up for Wunder Cast, man. What an adorable name. <laughs> <laughs>